Adventures from Yachting World, reporting from the Lagoon 55, which is really quite an amazing yacht. It just has so much space and potentially really so much comfort in so many different areas of the yacht. I'm gonna to have to show you around this. We're sailing, we have been sailing four knots of breeze. We have been matching almost three and a half knots, I think we'll be doing with the code zero. So the boat still moves, but the interesting part of this is Lagoon have not even put this yacht into production yet and they have already sold 50, five, zero. So that's gonna take production through for the next, they don't even start production until September next year. Anyway, have a look around here with Don. This is the forward cockpit, which is a very, very pleasant place to be really and watch the world go by. Really nice feature to have comfortable sofa seating in this forward cockpit area. But this is just one of many. There are so many relaxation zones on this boat. It's pretty easy to tell why it's so popular. And this one up here is obviously the big draw. It's what cat catamarans of this size tend to have now is a big flybridge with a lot of relaxation zone. Your traditional aft cockpit, not exactly short of space either. So this is the main access up onto the flybridge, which I think you'd do with a grab rail around this side, but look how much space you have up here. So this is Nikolai, the skipper, who has taken this first number one boat, 6,000 miles now from France in the Mediterranean. And that's what Lagoon have done, you know, impressively well is to really use this as a prototype before they and to, to do a lot of debugging before they actually put the boats into production, into full production. So the next boat, number two, will go to the US and number three to the Asia. But production in terms of the industrial process will not start until September, 2022. Anyway, enough of me blabbing on about that. Look at this. I mean, yeah, there's plenty of upholstery and lounging space on here, but, um, yeah, a lot, a lot of relaxing space as well. So the nice thing is, from a sailing point of view, all your systems are up here, come to three powered winches on this boat, uh, including the Code Zero sheets as well. So they are led from those turning blocks aft through, the, through those cheek blocks on there and then come to a powered winch each side and there's a powered furler on this code zero as well so it really is push button affair getting the big sails out and then all the helming side of it's done from this starboard side helm with a large seat behind it they're going to increase this space you can get so you can walk around from this side as well and there is an option uh, to have steps up from the starboard side as well so that you don't have to just disappear around the port side and go all around the boat to get forward. Oh, where's the next place to come and relax? It might be here on the aft of the flybridge as we drop the hook. Yeah, trying to determine the most comfortable place to spend your next hour or so. It's the only real struggle here. Drinks fridge up here, you've got the music on. Let's go and have a look at the next place. Another sink area, another outdoor galley type area here. And this one has an optional grill on the port side as well. So you can stand on that swim platform part there, cook your fresh fish up. 
The other main option on this boat is having a hydraulic platform for the dinghy. So that would, uh, as standard, you have davits. But you can appreciate that massive swim platform or tender platform that that provides. Coming up. So this is how you would put it. So you put just the dinghy come, on. Just gone. Yeah. Or out. And when you come, when you do that, after maybe maybe Nicolas, you can show the folding. <laughs> Quite handy for scuba diving as well. You just sit on the back yeah, platform and off you go. We've got the aft camera as we're coming into dock. All done from that single helm. Pretty inviting saloon area as well. Lagoons famous. Vertical coach roof windows. And the views they provide. It's just a sensational amount of space. So this, this first one has the four cabin, four heads option. And you can have five cabins and five heads or six cabins and six heads. On the six cabin version, this, this would become fridge space and the companion way would move forward to make room for a midships double, well, Pullman cabin, bunk cabin in here, but here you have this massive amount of extra fridge space. And not a bad cabin <laughs> to be a guest aboard. Just a sensational amount of beam and space in these aft cabins. Well, I have to buy all the cabins to be honest. Again, carpet, what a luxury. Not the most practical, but the interior design of this one in particular is pretty amazing, really. There's no point in me even trying to show you all the stowage. There's so much stowage throughout this boat. It's uh, never really going to be an issue. Space inboard as well. Moving forward, just so much storage. You get these steps up each side of this thwart ship's cabin. Yeah, there's no cheap seats. There's no cheap seats on this boat. Uh, and it's easy to see why there's been so many a big shift in the number of private owners who have bought this. So where's Charter dropped off during COVID, Lagoon has seen a lot of people selling up to buy their dream yacht. and then starboard companionway down here into the owner's cabin. And have a wee look at the amount of space in here. I mean, just amazing, really. Absolutely incredible for its length. To have this much beam in the aft hulls and this much space. 
now what do you understand why there's 50 have already been sold before they properly started production just so much stowage say the majority look at this it's got walk-in shower amazing yeah the majority of these boats privately owned will be going into private ownership and managed owner operated as well so not that many choosing the skipper's cabin option. And predominantly doing Atlantic circuits or Mediterranean sailing. Very nice too. In 1987, Lagoon came out with a 55. Same length, same beam. That's where the comparison stopped. They only built 20 of those. I mean, it was ahead of its time, granted. But this is today's version. 50 orders. It's a, a yacht that starts at 1.14 million euros. Expat. So this, this one we're on. Probably 1.6 all in. But when you compare it with what we're up against, I mean, this is in a, a luxury cruiser category this year. So 55 to 60 foot monohulls and the space comparison, well there isn't a comparison, there isn't a comparison. So you just step aboard here and go for a little sail, drop the anchor, have a swim, whatever it is that people enjoy doing on the water and you instantly understand just why it is that popular and why this catamaran market this this size has exploded. Pretty easy to understand when you try it in weather like this. Signing out.